Okay guys, uh, it's Rashiga and uh, uh, I was planning to do another tube, another little bit of trick you can use when you're modeling. Uh, so when you model, uh, when you I mean make a basic mesh, uh, 3D Max uh, usually applies a, a normal standard material to it without any glossiness or reflection or anything so um, well if you are modeling you always try to uh, minimize errors or what can I say bumps so uh, um, so here as an example there are two identical measures here uh, and both are first one is with the uh, uh, normal diffuse material as you will get in when you are normally making a mesh and second one second mesh I have applied a um, bit glossy uh, material with sp uh, specular and glossiness so as you can see uh, when I move around you can see the reflection on the second mesh so by looking at the reflection uh, you can see where are the bumps are so as you can see when I move around see that in this area you can see there is a bump but um, in this mesh well you can see the bump but it's a bit easier when you are uh, when you can in the, in the second mesh you can clearly see the bump pretty easily so that's my point um, so uh, you can do is uh, apply a mat normal standard material uh, with some specular and glossiness so uh, well do not increase specular too much because if you increase too much you'll get a huge reflection and you won't clearly see anything so um, yeah, you can do is uh, add a bit of specular well add more specular and uh, try to give some glossiness to it uh, so the goal is to balance between these two values and get a reflection that you will uh, clearly see the bumps and also the mesh also because uh, you don't want the whole mesh uh, filled with a huge reflection and uh, ok so that's about it guys mm, I hope you learn something and uh, hope to see you in the next video mm keep modeling mm, bye bye